SurfCam's new grouping feature makes it easier for you to work with complex grouping sections. For example, in this case, I'm going to create a group, and the group will be a contour group, which I'll call Pockets. Pockets is going to consist of a group of chains, so I'll make sure that it's set for selecting planar elements, and then select my chains. Each one of these groups, or each one of these pockets, will become part of the group called Pockets. Now that I've done that, I can utilize this geometry multiple times over with only selecting a single object. For example, if I come into NC2Axis Pocket, under Auto, we have a new option called Group, and the group contains my group called Pockets. That's all there is to it for selecting that geometry now, and my toolpath is done. For selecting subsequent toolpaths, perhaps a uh, contour or a chamfer mill, I can do the same and very quickly select that complex set of geometry that I've created now as a group.